Hey everyone, welcome back to the Akita Life. I'm Tony, and with me as always is Haga the American Akita. And if you are into Akitas, have an Akita, want an Akita, this channel is for you. But today's video is a little bit different. You don't have to have an Akita to appreciate it. We are going to be reviewing Banfield Pet Hospitals. The good and the bad. So here is my take on it. So if you're not familiar with Banfield, they are a chain of animal hospitals. They are in PetSmart stores, and they are located all over North America. I believe they have over a thousand locations. And we've been taking Haga to our local Banfield here in New Hampshire since we got him at seven weeks old. He is now about 15 months. So growing up, my parents and my family had always brought our pets to a local, privately owned animal hospital. And then for the last... 15 years, we always brought our Akita mix, Loki, to a local animal hospital. My sister-in-law actually worked there as a vet tech, and we always thought that the care was adequate, didn't really have any complaints until the very end of the, the life of my Akita Loki. And what happened was at the start of the lockdowns, it was becoming very clear that Loki's mobility was just absolutely gone. His quality of life was extremely low because he had very poor mobility. His back hips had basically com completely stopped working on him. And Loki really hated the car. So I didn't want his last moments to be a ride in the car to the vet, a place where he wasn't a huge fan. So I really wanted someone to come out and take care of the end of life services in the home where he could be comfortable. We could just make him relax, give him some food that he enjoyed and just have it be a peaceful final moment for him. And unfortunately, uh, the owner of the local hospital that we used to take Loki to didn't want to come out here, even though we are literally a f less than a five minute drive away you know, my family has worked for this person. Uh, it just left a little bit of a bitter taste in our mouth. So when we were getting Haga, we were looking for a new uh, vet, a new place to bring him. And some of our good friends who have two beautiful uh, huskies from a very legitimate breeder, they were bringing their dogs to Banfield. And at first I was like, ooh, you know, it kind of feels almost like the Walmart of animal care. You know, it's in PetSmart. Seems like, is this really going to be good? Do they really have good vet techs and good veterinarians there? Uh, but my friends had been bringing their dogs there for years and couldn't stop ranting and raving about it. So we thought we would give it a try. So if you don't want to watch the whole video, I'll give you uh, just a quick um, overview. The, the cons list is much shorter than the pros list. There's a lot of pros to bring your dog to a place like Banfield. Number one, I would say is that at our particular location, the quality of care is excellent. When talking to the techs and the veterinarians themselves, I feel very confident in their skills and their training. And when you work with a, a in an industry like veterinary medicine and historically that industry has been dominated by smaller local practices it makes you wonder you know is a bigger company going to be able to recruit quality people or is that just a place where people go to work because they can't get a job anywhere else and i am a hundred percent confident in uh, my local banfield's level of care secondly it is super convenient having the animal hospital in a pet store because so many times uh, you might go to the vet and they might recommend a particular product, a toy or a teeth cleaning product or uh, maybe a specific type of food and the vet doesn't have it there. So you have to go to make a second trip to the store. When you go to Banfield, it's in a pet smart. Everything you need is right there. Also, if you know, and this is smart on their part, this is why they do it, but a lot of times while you're waiting for your dog uh, to come out of the appointment with the vet, you go shopping and you pick up some new toys or whatever. Obviously that's by design, but it is super convenient. The third thing that's really nice about it is their hours are far and away better than most other local small private practices. Uh, typically most vets are open kind of like on a nine to five, Monday through Friday, 
not a schedule. Banfield has some hours, I think, till six or seven on certain days, and they're open Saturdays and Sundays, which is really nice because you know a lot of times if you have a vet that's not open on the weekends and you have like, oh, I don't know, my dog's having this issue. I don't, I'm not sure if it's an emergency or if we can wait till Monday. You don't have to worry about that. You can just call or stop in and talk to somebody. It gives you such peace of mind. If your vet's closed on the weekend and you're not sure and you want to err on the side of caution, guess where you're going? You're going to an emergency vet hospital. And that is, I can tell you from firsthand experience, extremely expensive. So uh, usually just walking in the door at an emergency vet hospital is gonna cost you a couple hundred bucks. So uh, it's just so nice having those really, really broad hours. And because there's so many locations, if you were on vacation somewhere and your dog had an issue, you could find your local band field, bring them there and not have to worry about, you know, them not being in the loop with their care because everything's in their system. They also have awesome payment plans. So they have different packages where you can pay a monthly fee and then you don't have to pay per visit. And so this is really nice, right? Again, you don't have to sit there and, and be on the fence of, oh, is it worth going to the vet for? Do I want to spend a hundred plus dollars for a vet visit? Just if it's something minor, you can just call or just show up and talk to somebody and you get that peace of mind and you don't get charged for it because you're on the monthly plan. And same thing if you're traveling and you go to your local band field while you're on vacation, again, you know, it's covered by your plan. That is such a uh, good peace of mind. Okay, another pro is because Banfield is a larger company with multiple locations, thousands of locations actually, they do seem to offer more competitive pricing on the care, the procedures, the medicine, and that's because they do more volume, right? So they can, they can charge less and still be profitable. Owning a pet is not cheap, especially if you are buying a dog from a legitimate breeder, it's gonna run you 1200 to 2500 bucks or more just for the puppy never mind all the other expenses that come with owning a dog all the vet bills the shots the medicines uh, the food the toys the crates the beds and all the things in your home that they're likely to destroy in the first year or so anyway i am going to do a whole video on how much akita's cost so if you are interested in that please hit that subscribe button and be on the lookout for that video coming soon okay let's talk briefly about customer service and then i want to talk about some of the cons of going to a place like banfield first of all i can say that our local banfield's customer service has been excellent they call us back when they say they're going to call us back they always do follow-up phone calls after he's been in for a visit checking in with us which i think is awesome obviously they have a great online system where you can go in and look at all of your dog's records and all that stuff so that's super helpful as well they have a great reminder system with texts and emails so you never miss an appointment overall i'm very satisfied with the customer service when i go there everyone's super knowledgeable super professional, very, very patient, very kind. They know Haga by name when he goes in. I don't know if that's just because he's kind of a rare dog or because that's just how they are. I mean, they see thousands of animals there, so it really shocks me every time. Okay, so let's talk about some of the cons of uh, going to Banfield, bringing your pet to Banfield. And like I said, this list is fairly short, but number one, I would say the biggest con is you know, we've had an excellent experience at our local band field, and I'm sure they have a good process as a company for hiring quality people. However, your experience from location to location will probably vary somewhat in terms of customer service, care, so on and so forth. Secondly, I will say that when we scheduled his recent neutering, gastropexy, and rectal polyp removal, uh, it did take a while to get into the schedule because they do see so many pets. Um, they weren't as flexible with the scheduling as I felt like we've had experiences in the past uh, when we've had to schedule things for our other dogs at a local animal hospital. It wasn't um, dangerous, it wasn't a huge inconvenience, but just something to note. And the last con is it can be expensive because every time we go in there, we always always walk out with a toy or a chew for Haga when we leave. And of course, that's why Banfield has partnered with 
PetSmart. They did that, did that by design. They go hand in hand. I'm sure they both benefit from having one another together so much. Um, and that's more on us because we just love to spoil this guy. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and insightful. If you have your own experience with a Banfield, post in the comments. I would love to hear what other people think. And if you are into Akitas, have an Akita, want an Akita, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. You can also check out our new website, The Akita Life, where we're posting lots of cool articles, pictures, videos, and other stuff. We're also working on bringing you some cool Akita swag, hats and stickers and shirts and all kinds of stuff. So if you are obsessed with Akitas, check that out. Thanks so much. See everyone next time.